So this is our edit suite where we have a capability of uh, editing up to 8K. And the other thing that we do in here is we have a 5.1 Dolby setup for audio, but we also have an 8-channel surround sound setup with four low speakers and four high speakers so that we can locate audio wherever we want to in the room. It's possible to add speakers to it, and we will be expanding in here to put a couple of more spot sources in um, and to rearrange the way that we're currently handling, handling the bass channel. The principle of what we're doing is that here on the desk, you can see one of our um, stick processors, which is actually the unit that is generating the audio for us to be able to do audio edits and testing within this space. The intent is that we can create something like, a, like an Atmos type of setup where we can put speakers anywhere. Although obviously, unlike what Dolby can do with their system, we have to design for a specific room with a given number of channels. So, for example, we are currently running, uh, we can currently run a soundscape, which is now running. And what we're doing with this is that we're creating a large number of different audio samples, which are randomized into the space. And you can hear them fly, you can hear airplanes flying around and you can hear animals and water and things happening all over the room. The plan being that we have low channels and high channels so we can have aircraft flying overhead, cars passing at low level, we can have things happening close to you, further away and panning all the way around you. So controlling this with something like this, which is just my iPhone, um, I can put rain into this room, I can call up a helicopter which will come over and it will land over there. And you can really locate all of this audio to that level of accuracy. The other nice thing is that we can store multiple randomizing soundscapes on one card. So we can change from forest to city to battleground, whatever it is that you want to do. That is the strength of what we're doing with the Quicksilver 3D audio system.